Today, I'm going to introduce to you one of the very best plugins for WordPress automations. Hello there and welcome back to the Web Monkey Show. My name is Alex. I hope you're staying safe and well wherever you are. Today, we're talking about the Uncanny Automator plugin. And in my humble opinion, this is one of the very best plugins for running automations on your WordPress website. Now, there are two versions of the plugin, the free version and the paid version. But today, I'm going to talk to you about the free version because in all honesty, I haven't had time to work with the paid version. But what's interesting is that as of the time of me making this video, this plugin only has 2000 active installations, which in my opinion is a crime because this plugin is really powerful. So the whole idea behind this plugin is that you can create different kinds of automations. Say for example, a user buys a product on your store. You can send them an email thanking them for buying that particular product. Say for example, you've created a new post, you've published it. You can inform all your users, your subscribers about the new post, things like that. So, that's the, the general idea behind the plugin. You can create different kinds of automations. Now, it's also compatible with a whole bunch of other plugins. You can see the entire list right here. BBPress, BodyPress, Contact Form 7, Elementor, LearnDash, Memberships Pro, uh, WooCommerce, the list goes on and on and on. This <coughs> really is a very, very fantastic plugin. So let me give you a very quick demonstration on how the plugin actually works behind the scenes. So. Once you've installed the plugin, you will see Automator right there. You simply go to Add New. So you're going to have triggers and actions. The trigger basically would be what should happen in order to start the automation. And then the action would be what should actually be done during the automation. That's basically how the whole thing works. So right now you can see it's telling me to select an integration. And you can see all these plugins already. Learn Dash, WooCommerce, WordPress, WP Forms. This is because I do have these plugins already installed on my site. You can see I've got LearnDash right here. I have WooCommerce and then I have WP Forms down there. So let's say, for example, we wanted to send an email to a user who buys a particular product on our store. How do we do this? So let's first of all add a title, right? So let's say buy a product is going to be the name of this recipe. And we're going to choose WooCommerce now because we're dealing specifically with WooCommerce, right? So in here, you can see the, the two available triggers. What happens if a user buys a product and what happens if a user views a product? Let's go with purchases a product, right? So the user has bought a product. You can then choose the particular product, right? In this case right now, I do have a course called the Pizza Masterclass, which I'm selling. So let's say, for example, the user buys the Pizza Masterclass, right? I'm going to save this. And then right here, you now have the actions. Okay, what should happen when a user buys this particular product? I'm going to click on add action. And right here, I can do so many things all over again. But we want to send them an email, right? So I'm going to choose WordPress. And then right here, you can see all the available actions. You can create a post. You can create a user. You can send an email. So I'm going to choose send an email. And then right here, I'm just going to say uh, thank you as the subject. And just very quickly, uh, thank you for buying. Uh, thank you for buying the pizza uh, masterclass. Just as an example, right? I'm gonna go ahead now, save this, and what I will do right now is to turn the trigger to live, and then also turn the action to live, and then last but not least, right here where you have draft, I'm gonna make the entire recipe live. So a recipe is when you have the trigger and then you have the action that supports that trigger. That's basically what you call a recipe. So now this is live. Whenever a user buys the Pizza Masterclass on my website, the plugin is gonna send them an email thanking them. But that's not all. Take a look at this, okay? I'm gonna go back to all recipes. So now that I actually have this recipe called buy a product, check this out, okay? I'm gonna create a new recipe and I'm gonna say enroll user in course. That would be the title for this recipe. Now, take a look at this again. I'm going to choose the Automator Core now. So when I choose Automator Core, I can actually turn one of the recipes I've created before into a trigger. In this case right now, I'm going to say a user completes a recipe, and that recipe is going to be by a product. That's the recipe we just created. So basically, when a user has bought the Pizza Masterclass, 
And then WordPress has sent them an email thanking them what should now happen. I can come in here, click on add action, and then I can enroll them in a course that I have on Learn Dash, which is going to be the Pizza Masterclass. I'm going to save that, turn this to into live, turn the entire recipe live, and there you go. So at this point right now, I have created, in just less than five minutes, I've basically created a scenario where uh, when a user buys the Pizza Masterclass on my website via WooCommerce, WordPress will send them an email thanking them for buying the course. And then a second recipe will run where the user will now be enrolled in the LearnDash course called Pizza Masterclass. That's the, how the whole thing works. So again, you have access to a wide variety of triggers, actions, all based on the plugins that you have installed on your website. Again, I have LearnDash, I have WooCommerce, but it works with Elementor. If you have a membership websites, it works with Pit Memberships Pro, uh, MemberPress, and so on. It works with WP Forms. It really is, it really is a fantastic plugin and I can't get enough of it. Now with the paid version of the plugin, it is my understanding that uh, with the paid version of the plugin, you have access to a whole lot more triggers, a whole lot more actions. Uh, you can even set it up so that when a, I mean, an action occurs on one website, you can run another automation on another website. So say for example, maybe on one website, a user buys a product you can actually enroll that user on another website with the paid version of the plugin. Also, one restriction with the free version is that all these actions triggers occur when the user is logged in. With the paid version, you can create recipes, triggers actions for users who are logged out. That's another advantage of the uh, paid version of the plugin. Again, I haven't uh, been able to work with the paid version, but honestly, I'm gonna reach out to Uncanny and ask, and ask if I could get uh, a copy of their uh, paid version so I can make a video on how it works. But again, the free version is really, really good. And with it, you can begin to create some very simple, you know, automations. So yeah, that's it for uh, today's video. I just wanted to introduce to you the Uncanny Automator. I think it's a very fantastic plugin for automation. And with only 2000 active installations, this is really a hidden gem. It's one of those hidden gems of, of plugins in the WordPress repository. So that's it. If you have any questions about today's video, be sure to put them down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from learning how to run automations on their WordPress website. Again, I will try to reach out to Uncanny and see if I can get a copy of their paid version and, and then make a full tutorial on how the paid version works. So until then, stay safe out there. I'll talk to you next time and ciao.